Hey, what is up guys? I'm Alex from TechnoClass.com and this is the WD Black Square, as you can see, very dark <laughs> surroundings. This is the WD Black Square Dual Drive. This is a unique hybrid drive that has uh, a SSD and a spinning disk that complements each other. As you can see, there's a big, I don't know, F1 racing race car right there. That's and also the two because you know there's two drives in there in one so this is a good sort of upgrade um, what, how do you call that sort of upgrade path for laptops or small form factor PCs with just one hard drive slot or maybe want more than one hard drives and this is sort of a I don't know a driver USB uh, which comes from this little cardboard thing uh, but that's already detached it's in the shape of an F1 cars uh, key so you know in the theme all right so inside the box here of course you do see the hard drive itself which we'll carefully peel, take out of the non-static bag of course you do see some silica gel there to keep the moisture out and this is the hard drive itself uh, please take care of holding it don't drop it or anything uh, and as you can see WD black square and then the black PCB design and all that stuff of course the screw holes on the sides and you plug it in here to your laptop or whatever small fa form factor device and I don't know if you can see there uh, there you go so it contains a 120 gigabyte SSD and of course a one, one terabyte hard drive so this is the biggest solution to uh, problems where you do you want the speed of an SSD drive but you also need a large storage capacity for movies and stuff like that which do not need fast or stor fast storage just need storage uh, so this is a nice combo to include to uh, computers with only one hard drive slot or you need more than one hard drive slot uh, and you want more than uh, you want a fast but also large drive this one is a USB cable which attaches to that so it sort of makes uh, your hard drive an external drive but I wouldn't suggest that this is for setting up if you want to set up externally uh, so that we will show you a little bit of the installation later on uh, but underneath here you get a little bit of paperwork let's see here what does it say technical support and limited warranty guide and underneath here is a quick install guide uh, figure A is new OS installation you just uh, plug in your uh, hard drive to your laptop and then you install, S install OS on SSD and then you install the Western Digital software to actually enable a partition uh, from what I understand here you will not see the one terabyte until you install the uh, driver so you can also clone your old existing hard drive if you have uh, 100 under 120 gigs of uh, files on your old hard drive you can just clone it and put it into the SSD leaving you with a pretty much a clone of your old uh, system uh, so we're gonna install a new OS right now because we have one more than 120 gigs on our um, computer so we're gonna do a fresh install we're gonna open up our laptop in just a bit all right guys we are back and this is my laptop it's a pretty gigantic 17 inch one so please ignore the large giganticness of it and it's getting pretty old this is a core 2 duo with a pretty decent graphics card but anyway um, we are just gonna pop the the back open as you can see right here this is a pretty big laptop with a pretty decent you know uh, drive base hard drive base which can easily open but some laptops or some small form factor PCs might not have sort of the very easy to install stuff so before you do or before you buy this hard drive you should check your manufacturer before attempting this sort of upgrade alright so as you can see this is a typical uh, 2.5 uh, inch drives drive bay and what you want to do is just align this guy right like so and then just place it in there and then what you want to do is screw the uh, the holes right there as you can see that those uh, naturally line up and and then once you do that well we're just gonna sample it show you the sample of what you're gonna do just slide it in slowly you know you don't want to force it and there you go uh, so after the screws are installed you just plug it in and there you go that's your installation of course this will depend this will depend on your laptop and other other things so there you go I'm gonna pull out my old hard drive and we're gonna install an OS right now on this guy we're gonna be back after the install and then we're gonna set up the one terabyte drive I'll see you in a bit alright so here we are uh, on the Western Digital black squared uh, driver install and uh, hopefully this works 
Uh, I do suggest that before you install Windows, uh, you should enable, uh, you should switch your SATA mode on the BIOS. Uh, to AHCI, uh, particularly because it won't load the AHCI drivers if you don't set it to AHCI in the first place. Uh, if that happens, you want to go to Microsoft, uh, search for the AHCI error, and they will give you a downloadable, downloadable fix. Alright, so if you're still not finding the one terabyte drive on your PC, uh, after installing the drivers, I won't, uh, what you want to do is click, uh, right click your computer and click manage. Uh, it'll show up with the uh, computer management application and go to disk management go to this little guy right here you can see C and D uh, obviously sometimes the letters can be different or you need to assign it actually this one I had to assign so basically I gave it a drive letter I gave it drive letter D and uh, now I, it's visible on my PC so if if the uh, drive doesn't become visible when you first install the drivers uh, just do that and as you can see right now we have the 128 gigabyte SSD right here and we have the one terabyte uh, hard drive uh, so what we're gonna do is maybe reboot the PC and show you how the reboot speed is doing compared to my uh, spinning drive uh, we are gonna compare this side by side so just you know sit back relax and watch the uh, reboot Alright guys, so we have completely booted up the PC and as you can see that is very very fast for a PC this old. I'm using a Core 2 Duo um, on a Windows 7, 64-bit. Uh, uh, but yeah, we what we're going to do is uh, load a game I guess. Alright guys, we're in a game called Fantasy Star Online 2 and we're just going to test the SSD loading of this game. I'm just going to click start game and compare it with a my typical hard drive that I use on this laptop. So just click start game right now. And that was the load time. So we're just going to compare that with my spinning drive. Alright guys, so I think that's about it for the WD Black Square Dual Drive Review. It's sort of like a hybrid drive, but better. You're getting two drives in one. You're getting C and D, you know. Uh, so if you have a laptop that only has one hard drive slot, and you know, it's kind of irritating to choose between just SSD or just HDD, this is your solution. It's gonna get. It's like a two-in-one drive. It's pretty much a two-in-one drive uh, with an SSD and an HDD in there. It does require a little bit of installation, you know, some drivers and some settings. 
Uh, but the performance uh, increase is definitely there and the storage is definitely there. Uh, the price is uh, $13,950 if I remember correctly. So the price is a little high uh, instead of buying two drives uh, of the same capacity. But like I said before, if your PC only has one slot or if you're trying to add more drives to your PC, uh, this is a really good solution and the performance is really, really high. Even with the spinning one terabyte drive, the performance is really, really fast and it just uh, smokes my other hard drive uh, in, the, in the dust, whatever, uh, with its speed. So there you go. That is the Western Digital Black Squared Drive. I'm Alex from a Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.